Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high-value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment, and today, we're gonna blow up a speaker. <laughs> That's right, so sit down, grab a, your favorite beverage, and let's blow up a speaker. I have been somewhat of an audiophile, or at least a music enthusiast, and stereo enthusiast since I was nine years old. So I am 47 years old now. So that's a good portion of my life. Over that time, I have indeed blown up a speaker or two, but it was never on purpose. That all changes today. We're gonna pump so much power through this thing that it breaks the drivers, maybe starts a fire, puff of smoke, something. You're gonna go on the journey with me though. Let's talk about the speaker. The unfortunate speaker is the Dayton Audio MK602X, which incidentally happens to be on sale for $100 a pair. And at $100 a pair, this is actually not a bad speaker. I've done a whole review of this speaker, which I will put right here at the top of the video with the video link. If you'd like to check it out, go ahead and click through. At $100 a pair though, this is legitimately a good speaker. And now I kind of feel bad. It has a six inch glass fiber woofer, which extends the low frequency range for impressive bass without distorting. We're gonna find that out. The critical vocal range around 2K. I'm not optimistic. It has a one inch silk dome tweeter, which is probably gonna do okay. Four ohm impedance. Let's see what the sensitivity is on these. All right, frequency response is a generous 45 Hertz up to 20,000 Hertz. The reason why I'm laughing is usually a bookshelf speaker that goes down to 45 hertz probably has got a little bit beefier of a woofer. We're gonna blow it up though and then pull out the woofer. Sensitivity 87 dB. So we're gonna need an amplifier that has some gumption, an amplifier that can put out some power, an amplifier who's gonna laugh at the Dayton Audios. Let's talk about the amp. We are gonna be using the XPA. DR1 differential reference monoblock power amplifiers. Let's take a look at the specs on this thing. Four ohm impedance, 87 dB. So the specs for this amp are 1000 watts RMS into four ohms at 0.1% distortion. So we are gonna take this speaker to its limits without having to worry if we're clipping. So we're just gonna send clean, clean, massive amounts of power to the speaker and then see what happens. This amp also makes 650 watts into eight ohms. Wow. Let's take a look at it. Oof. All right, here it is. I'm gonna see how much this thing weighs. This is what it looks like on the back. You have one RCA connection, an XLR connection, and then you get your speaker outputs. Bunch of stuff over here. What is over there? We've got trigger in, trigger out, status LED on or off, and then a, uh, <laughs> it's like a click here. It looks like one of those things on the gas pump that if there's somehow a fire or something, somebody can secure the gas pumps. I'm only hooking up one of these. I'm not gonna blow up both speakers. I'm only gonna blow up one speaker because the other speaker actually was donated for a, hey, can I put a car speaker into a home speaker enclosure and have it sound good? I'll try to link that one right here. Spoilers, it didn't turn out well. All right, let's hook this thing up. First, I need to see if it's gonna fit into the rack, into the rack. All right. <laughs> With the bumper on the bottom, I think this is uh, about eight inches. How much room do we have at the bottom of the rack? All right, I think this thing is barely gonna fit in. Right now, I have two A1 monoblocks from Emotiva, which are gonna take up probably less space than one of the differential monoblocks from Emotiva. All right, so I'm gonna use Epidemic Sound. I have a subscription there, so you'll actually be able to hear the music now. 
I'm going to turn it way down because this is probably going to get fairly loud. So I have everything hooked up right now. I'm taking my beautiful Wharfdale Evo 4.1s out of here. This has been my kind of go-to desktop speaker for the last couple of months. And I love them. And I do not want to blow the Wharfdales up. They're so pretty. However, this one is not pretty. I still can't get over that these are $99. I'm going to link that in the description. I had no idea. It's pure happenstance. Serendipitous that the speaker that I'm going to blow up is actually not too bad at $100 for a pair. $100 for a pair. Not terrible. All right. It's working. They don't sound terrible at all. A little bit boomy in the bass, but that's what we kind of want. Uh, we need to find something that's got a big bass track. That was Runaway With Me by Roof, I guess. No. All right, here we go. Okay. So this speaker is actually pretty amazing what this speaker can do with a bunch of headroom because I'm already hearing that there's way more bass coming out of this amplifier than most of the amplifiers, even the A1 monoblocks, which makes sense because there's a lot more power going through this. What I'm noticing on this speaker is it's pretty forward in the upper mids, maybe around 3K, 4K. Like the percussion is really snappy. Let's blow up a speaker though, all right? I'm going to use my noise canceling headphones so I don't blow my eardrums out. Even though I've gone to concerts with these and it still doesn't do that great of a job, I'm gonna at least put them in because I can't find any earplugs. Getting some excursion. There it went. So the, the woofer went. The tweeter's still playing just fine. Woo! I can smell it. Oh, man. I can smell it. All right. Um, it actually did way better than I thought it would. And if you look at this woofer, it's got a bit of a surround on it. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to turn this thing off. Okay. I'm going to give it a second, and then I'm going to pull the woofer and see what it looks like. Good job, Dayton Audio. I'm pretty impressed. see what it looks like it is like frozen so oh you can hear it just like scrape on the inside let's open this baby up well there we go stinky inside electricity fun with electricity so here is the woofa oh you hear that This is not what a woofer is supposed to sound like. Overall, very impressed. This is actually not a bad woofer. If the enclosure was a little bit better. I think the speaker has a lot of upside to people that want to tweak. It's not terrible. You could probably go in there and brace up the, uh, the enclosure a little bit more. I cannot believe how much this stinks. Oh, I wonder if I fried the cap in here or something. That's what happens when you blow up a speaker. Let me know if you'd like me to blow up more speakers. Maybe some expensive speakers. Wouldn't that be fun? Really impressed with these things. For a hundred bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. I'll link them in the description. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Amazon Music, Title or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. There is a trial period. Even if you quit, I do get a couple of dollars. You can sign up for my Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook. You can also use the links in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. Finally, 
You can buy me a soda down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. Click on it. Give me a couple of bucks, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything or thank me. And if you would, please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more free content like this. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Maybe blow up on your old speakers. No, don't do that. And fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.